When it comes to laptops, there are lots of options to choose from, whether it's Windows or MacBook. Personally, I lean towards powerful machines like the Pro MacBooks, but I've been curious to try Windows laptop that's just as powerful and maybe even a better everyday alternative. After doing some research, the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 stood out to me. It seemed like the perfect match with similar specs and design, but at a much more affordable price. I've been using it for over two months now, so I thought, why not compare both laptops, push them through their paces, and see which one is actually a better option shown for a heavy user like myself. So, the MacBook has built a reputation for being one of the best laptops for creative and professional workloads and in my experience, it lives up to that. But some people just want a fun laptop that handles all the creative heavy work and still run fun games during downtime. On one side, we have got the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14, a powerful laptop built for gamers but one that fits into a creative and productivity focused workflow. It's powered by the AMD Ryzen 9 8000 series processor with integrated Radeon graphics paired with a dedicated Nvidia RTX 4060. GPU and 16GB of RAM. These are solid specs that fairly matches my M3 Pro MacBook Pro which comes with 18GB of unified memory. The Apple Silicon M3 Pro chip in my unit has an integrated GPU with 14 cores and a CPU with 11 cores. Also a powerful setup that handles demanding productivity tasks at ease. The G14 takes the edge when it comes to storage, starting at 1TB for the base model which is great for big projects, while the M3 Pro MacBook starts at just 512GB of SSD storage. Now, now the interesting thing is, for the value of money, the G14 actually feels like a better deal. But if you've been following my channel, you know I always focus on real world usage and different use cases because that's where the difference really shows up. I am a big fan of clean and minimal design when it comes to laptops which is one of the reasons why I love the MacBook Pro so much. Apple products are known for their sleek aesthetics and for a powerful laptop like the M3 Pro, they have managed to keep that minimal premium design without sacrificing power. The G14 is one of the Windows laptops that follows the same design approach, keeping things clean and portable but still powerful. It weighs just 3.3 pounds compared to the M3 Pro at 3.5 pounds which isn't that much of a difference, so portability shouldn't be an issue with any of these devices. On days when I need to travel light but still work on big projects, I throw either of these laptops into the Defender A14 briefcase from TomTalk, a simple and compact carry-on made specifically for laptops and their compatible daily essentials. What I really like are the details on it, its main compartment comes in a side opening design for easy access and the interior is equipped with corner armor tm4x technology that gives 360 protection in case it ever drops it also has a front compartment for all the supporting essentials i need for the day so i'll usually put my mobile accessories in here like my mouse charger ssd cable and stuff like that i carry this briefcase on days when i just want to keep things minimal which helps me stay focused and organized it's very easy to access the items i need without wasting time and I'm also impressed with the design, it looks classic and the material feels premium. It even comes in a few different colors so you can match it with your own style and I'll leave a link in the description so feel free to check them out. Now both of these laptops look clean and presentable. I feel like Asus did a really good job in blending a gamer aesthetic with a clean and modern look. Most gaming laptops tend to look bulky and oversized, but with the G14, there's not too much going on. It has a simple keyboard layout with speaker on the side and a trackpad that blends in nicely. Same goes with the Mac MacBook Pro, clean keyboard layout, speaker on the sides and a seamless trackpad. I also like the contrast on the black keyboard of the MacBook which stands out from the matte black aluminum chassis. It really pops and makes the whole design look attractive. That said, I actually prefer the font style Asus used on the G14, it just looks cleaner in my opinion. Honestly, in terms of looks, you really can't go wrong with either of these. They are both 14 inch laptops so they hit the perfect balance between portability and screen size. The G14 has a sub 2 Asus logo on the back along with a slash LED light bar that gives a sleek gamer vibe. Meanwhile, the MacBook just has the glossy Apple logo, simple but still iconic. Now when it comes to build quality, both of these laptops are made of aluminum but for some reason, I thought the G14 is made of plastic at first impression. It might be because of the color but it also feels a bit more plasticky compared to the aluminum chassis on the MacBook Pro. The hinge on both laptops is sturdy and you can easily open them with one hand. But there seems to be a slight wobble when you open the G14, I personally don't think it's that much of a problem 
problem but the macbook just feels a bit more premium and satisfying to open and it's little things like this that can make one device feel more refined than the other another thing worth pointing out is the vent on the bottom the g14 has visible opening underneath to let air in and push heat out when it's under heavy load it needs the airflow because it's running a dedicated gpu and cpu which can get pretty warm during intense tasks the macbook on the other hand has no visible intake vent just a clean aluminum bottom but despite that it still has internal fans in my experience of using the macbook pro for over a year i can confidently say i've barely ever had the fans go on apple silicon is just that efficient it stays cool quietly even when you are editing or multitasking we'll be talking about the performance later on in the video when it comes to ports both laptops are fully loaded they both have dedicated charging ports which helps free up other ports for different tasks on the macbook pro you get the magsafe 3 charging ports it supports fast charging and is safer and easier to connect thanks to the magnetic design the g14 on the other hand uses dcin charging ports which also supports fast charging and apparently delivers extra power to help push the gpu and cpu to their full potential the macbook pro comes with three thunderbolt 4 ports which can also be used for charging connecting external displays and high speed data transfer up to 40 gigabytes per second you can hook up external displays up to 6k at 60 hertz via thunderbolt and with the hdmi ports you can go up to 4k at 144hz on the g14 it's a similar story but with a more flexible mix two usb c ports two usb a ports and an hdmi port i honestly prefer the usb a port because sometimes you just need to plug in an accessory that still uses older cables now only one of the usb c ports on the g14 matches the macbook pro 40 gigabytes per second speed and the others cap out at 10 gigabytes per second one thing i really like about the macbook is that you get the same fast charging speed whether you are using the mac safe or the thunderbolt ports on the g14 though you'll need to use the dcim port to get a decent fast charging speed i still prefer to use the usb-c charging ports especially if i need extra juice when i'm working from anywhere you also get an headphone jack on both devices and an sd card slot which is super clutch for transferring footage especially for content creators like myself but keep in mind that the g14 only comes with a micro sd card slot which isn't ideal i find the full-sized sd card to be way more convenient so the macbook definitely takes the edge here the keyboard on both devices are great i have used the macbook for the longest time and always thought its magic keyboard couldn't be beaten that is until the g14 comes into the picture this has to be the best keyboard i've ever used on a laptop it's very tactile and satisfying to type on with good key travel it gives a mechanical keyboard feel while staying quiet and the key spacing is just spot on the magic keyboard on the mac is also great but the g14 is just better overall at least in my experience both keyboards have really bright backlits for use in dark environments the g14 leans into the gaming vibe with rgb lighting which surprisingly looks decent and not too flashy as for trackpad the g14 comes with a traditional window style trackpad but it actually feels unique and very responsive has a relatively large layout easy to navigate and i really have no complaints now the macbook's trackpad is easily the best you would find on any laptop it also has a spacious layout that makes navigation effortless extremely responsive with great haptic feedback and the best part is it's a simulated click trackpad so you can click anywhere on the layout and get a real-time response in my opinion it's more seamless than the g14s but honestly both trackpads are great and i have gotten used to them just fine both devices provide easy and convenient ways to unlock the g14 uses facial recognition via windows hello which is actually super quick to respond as soon as you open the laptop it's like you don't even have to think about unlocking it just logs you in the macbook on the other hand uses fingerprint unlock via touch id which is also very fast and reliable so whether it's face or fingerprint, both offer seamless access to your device with minimal efforts. Now when it comes to displays, the G14 has an OLED panel with a 3K resolution at 120Hz of refresh rate. This is technically better than the MacBook Pro's Liquid Retina XDR display in some ways, mainly because of the OLED panel. To break it down, OLED displays like the one on the G14 gives deeper blacks, punchier colors and overall more vibrant visuals, great for watching content and photo editing. Meanwhile, the MacBook Pro's liquid retina xdr display is brighter overall and has a slightly higher resolution this helps when working in brighter environments and gives you a bit more detail you can get up to 1600 nits peak brightness on the macbook pro whereas the g14 is limited to 500 nits in the real world though i feel like the m3 pro display shines more when consuming media or editing high quality videos pictures look way more natural and true to life the g14 on the other hand tends to look a bit more oversaturated some of you pointed this out in my full reviews saying i could tweak the display settings in the amori crate software so i changed the color gamut to srgb standard
standard web content color and i'm not gonna lie it actually looks way better after that now before that i had to create an asus account and make sure the device is plugged to a dc charger just to make those changes this kind of extra step is something you would have to get used to on windows especially if you are coming from a mac where most things just work out of the box that said it's cool to know that i can customize the g14's display to my liking and honestly the default vivid color mode looks way better when playing video games or watching animated content the colors really pop and feels richer when it comes to gaming the g14's 120hz oled feels smoother and more immersive especially those deep black and vibrant visuals now obviously i don't play games on the macbook but the few times i did it actually wasn't bad i feel like if the macbook supported more mainstream games the display wouldn't be a limitation because it's also smooth without 120hz refresh rate lightroom and photoshop looks good on either display i just personally enjoy editing more on the macbook images look sharper and more true to life compared to the g14 which is still a great display by the way all right guys so i'm currently comparing both cameras so this is the webcam of the asus g14 and this is the webcam of the m3 pro macbook pro what do you guys think i think they both look alike the macbook just feels a little bit more brighter in my opinion it looks sharp it looks clean you know what i'm saying they are both 1080p webcams so you really can't go wrong with either of these i feel like the macbook just gives a little bit more brightness but other than that i feel like the quality is pretty much the same thing on the asus g14 right here um it has a little more features you could actually adjust like the saturation the sharpness and stuff like that but i just feel like it's not really good in low lights i have like a light from my desk right now punching on my face just to increase the brightness and if i was to turn it off let me turn it off right now so i just turn off the light and you guys could see the macbook is still giving a little more brightness compared to the g14 but the g14 is still clear but let me turn on the light again boom i feel like the macbook is just brighter but in terms of quality i really like what the g14 is producing i've already used this for like meetings calls class all that kind of stuff and it doesn't disappoint so you really can't go wrong with either of these also i forgot to mention this is what the audio sound like i'm recording directly from the laptops themselves so this is what the microphone of the g14 is going to sound like i feel like i didn't have a problem whenever i'm calling and stuff they could people i'm talking to they could hear me properly and this is what the microphone on the macbook sounds like so if you guys are not looking forward to investing in an external microphone you should be good with either of these but yeah let's get back into the video when it comes to audio both have a six speaker sound system with a similar layout and honestly they sound really good you could really throw a party with either of these the g14 sounds more bass heavy and deep i think it's the better option if you are into music or beats the macbook pro on the other hand sounds more clear and balanced so when you are listening to someone speak like in a podcast or a video it just sounds more natural and smooth the g14 adds some low end to voices some might like that but i think it's a bit extra i'm sure there's probably an eq settings to tweak to my preference but personally i prefer when things sound great straight out the box no tweaks needed now this might not do justice but here's the difference in sound quality Now, the most important part of these devices is obviously performance. How much can they really handle? I could really run benchmark tests to show which one is technically more powerful, but I personally prefer showing how they perform in the real world. So to put them through their paces, I tried using both devices the same way. The M3 Pro MacBook has been flawless when editing complex timelines in Final Cut Pro. It's never disappointed me, not even once. Now, the G14 has also shown impressive performance. It's been my go-to for school, programming, and even gaming, and it's been holding up really well multitasking has been a breeze for the most part i have had days when i'm working on a project while on conference calls with multiple chrome tabs open i am talking about running real world programming projects while on discord with my team builds run fine the machine stays calm and i'm able to work efficiently without feeling slowed down now i have to be honest i don't edit videos on the g14 that often because i primarily use final cut pro but the times when i've had to loading simple projects on adobe after effects or CapCut has been a breeze i don't think you would 
struggle as a content creator who uses windows based software if you have the g14 i also use photoshop and lightroom a lot and it works perfectly fine on both devices same thing no lag images load perfectly even with some of the craziest graphics on photoshop where i get to stress the g14 the most is gaming i have been playing all types of fun and demanding games like call of duty valorant and fifa performance wise the g14 easily crushes everything the only issue is that it has to be connected to power via the dc charger to handle this much load playing video games on battery alone or even while charging via usb-c causes the gpu to slow down very often which can be annoying that said if you are okay with carrying a big 180 watt brick you should be able to game from anywhere but the frustrating part about the g14 is overheating it could get really hot when gaming even with the dc charger connected there are no noticeable lag but the gpu clocks up to 80 degrees with the fans on at full blast and that could get really uncomfortable to deal with the macbook pro on the other hand has never gotten warm not even a little and the fan never goes on even when i'm working on a big project now i find it hard to test games on the macbook just to see if video editing is not enough to push it to its limits so for the sake of this video i had to try playing resident evil on the m3 pro honestly not an exciting game to play in my opinion but it's actually quite demanding i tried to play for as long as possible but the m3 pro simply handles it perfectly even when it shows that the memory pressure is getting high the ability for the apple silicon chip to handle demanding tasks is something that's gonna be hard to beat we are comparing an m3 pro chip to an amd processor paired with a dedicated graphics card even if we were to put gaming and editing to the side the way the macbook simply handles the most basic things like navigating a windows gesture is noticeably snappier compared to the g14 i am not sure if it's just a windows and mac os operating system thing but the overall performance and the ability for a computer to stay this calm under pressure makes the m3 pro a more reliable option and let me not start with random updates on windows computer or sometimes you're trying to get work done but you are stuck in like some kind of update or the randomly restarting these are things you would never find on a macbook pro everything just works fine and you do simple things like updates according to your own schedule the best part is the m3 pro macbook doesn't need to be connected to a charger for the best performance although the battery might drain quicker depending on the apps you are running a reliable battery is another big factor to consider when choosing a laptop the m3 pro macbook or really any apple silicon mac is known for a great battery life in my experience i usually get up to 10 hours or a full day of basic tasks like browsing the web and if i'm editing or doing something more intense i still get around six hours which is very impressive it is so reliable that i barely need to charge it when i'm working on the go the g14 on the other hand usually lasts me about three to four hours max even though asus claim up to 10 hours of usage and if i'm doing something more power hungry i might need to charge it more than twice a day so i always make sure to carry a charger with me just in case an unreliable battery could be a deal breaker for lots of people and honestly if that's you i think it's better to get a macbook because with a macbook you don't even have to worry about your battery getting damaged over time from staying plugged in i have had my macbook connected to my desk setup all day charging 24 7 been doing that for about a year and i haven't notice any difference in battery health i can't say the same about the g14 overall both laptops are great they have clean minimal designs and performance to match the specs you just have to know what you really want in a laptop if you are into content creation and don't care about gaming or you just want something reliable and focused on getting work done then the macbook pro is a better option for you but if you need a laptop that can do a bit of everything gaming and creativity combined especially if you're on a budget and you don't mind a few compromises like needing to charge more often or dealing with heat sometimes i think both laptops are solid options you really can't go wrong as long as they match your personal criteria